It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so Drake and Kanye. Did Drake make the biggest mistake the other night? Now, we're all happy that they're they're not feuding anymore, right? Like, we'll say that because, honestly, we were getting tired. Of, a lot of people were getting tired of the beef. It was a stupid beef, right? But is Drake making a big mistake trusting Kanye again? Because Kanye has proven not to be trusted over the years. You don't have to be beefing with each other. But do you trust Kanye West again? Okay, because he's already violated so many times. It all started in 2010 when fans think Drake was throwing subtle shots at Kanye for taking him off uh, the Grammy. Uh, was he uh, all of the lights? Drake was supposed to be on all of the lights, so he said uh, Kanye's creative process is ever changing. I don't know why I was removed. We make music differently. I make what comes to me, and I hate changing it. Whereas, yay, we'll change something 30 or 40 times to get it perfect to each their own. Uh, the chain, change was to put all people on it, and I wasn't one of them. That's completely okay. But then <laughs> he said, I can never sit here and tell you that's not uh, that's not one of my idols. That's not, that's not one of my favorite rappers. Uh, whatever energy... I've ever felt is irrelevant. Uh, when you ask me, what do I think of Kanye West? I'm going to always have something positive to say. In 2011, um, this is when, I think this is uh, around the time that Drake and Lil Wayne were about to do an album together. But then Kanye, he had told Kanye about that. And then Kanye quickly rushed to do Jay-Z watch the throne and it's just like he says uh, now I would say Kanye is really one of the greatest really competitors and friend at the time my goal is to surpass everything he's accomplished I don't want to be as good as Kanye I want to be better and I think rap wise he's kind of accomplished that except for he's not a producer but Kanye's plowed down so many other you know areas in business that drake has a lot of catching up to do um then on on our mom one he said i'm just uh i'm just feeling like the throne is for the taking watch me take it he's talking about beating out kanye but also throwing shots about the the whole throne thing uh then he said uh me and hove would have never made watch the throne if this guy wasn't putting pressure on us like that, so I just want to pay my respects. That's what Kanye said about Drake. Because <laughs> they were still cool. He came out at Drake, uh, Drake's OVO Fest and gave him props about that. But Drake has also talked about that he didn't like that. Like They did watch the throne when he had mentioned that Lil Wayne and him were thinking about doing an album. Um then oh, let's see i'm done doing his magazine i just wanted my music let's see let's see then he was like a little jealous of yay and watched the throne moment but still assured fans both are hip-hop legends and gods to him however he said i never commented on yeezus uh from my interview portion of rolling stones they also took my cover uh from me last minute and ran the issue i'm disgusted with that r.i.p philip seymour hoffman all due respect but press is evil i'm doing interview i'm not doing interviews for interviews anymore i mean i'm sorry i'm not doing interviews on magazines anymore uh the only way my message gets to people accurately is through my music uh because they said like drake questioned some of kanye's bars on yeezus and all this other stuff when he never did that this was in rolling stone actually the the rolling stone misquoted him then uh, Kanye did a Breakfast Club interview and seemed really, un he didn't really care about uh, Drake dissing him. He said uh, he and Yeezy had worked on music in the past. Uh, they collabed on a project entitled Wolves. It might happen, but it never did. Instead, Kanye released Wolves record with Vic Mensa and featured it on Life of Pablo album. A few months later, Drake dropped Summer 16 and he said, uh, now I got a house in LA. Now I got a bigger pool than Ye. And look, man, Ye's pool is nice. Mine's just bigger. That's what I'm saying. 
And then he also said, uh, let's see, during a radio interview, Drake was asked if uh, Drake's pool was in fact bigger than his. Kanye jokingly reminded, I have three pools. <laughs> these guys, like, there's something weird that goes on between these guys. Also, uh, that song that Kanye produced on his album, the first album, uh, Love and you know, Love and Love and Love and that, that, that it was like distorted. And people think that Kanye did that purposely. And then his first video was trash. Every girl in the world, every girl or something. What was that song? Oh, the best. The best I ever had. The best I ever had. People were like, yo, this is trash. And it was trash. It was the most trash video ever. And Kanye directed it. So anyways, this goes back and forth. These guys keep going back and forth. And it all leads up to um, Duppy Freestyle which is going at Pusha T because Pusha T got information. This is where it all went bad. You know, let's just lead up to this where it got really disrespectful where Drake flew out to Wyoming, played Kanye his album, Kanye played his stuff or some of his stuff. And then he said, he told Drake he had to really open up to him, tell him all his secrets so he could produce for him. And uh, he did... <laughs> He, he opened up about the you know his son and everything, and nobody else knew. And then all of a sudden, Pusha T had all this information and used it against him, right? And also the song that Kanye gave Drake, you know, the beat he gave Drake to use for his album, he remember he dropped that scoopy dee doop on it and leaked it to TMZ so that Drake couldn't use it. He dropped scoopy dee doop, doopy dee scoop, 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 scoop. And he made it so that Drake couldn't use it. I mean, it's like, dude, how can you trust somebody like that again? Like, you know, it was cool that they got back together now. And, you know, because everyone's sick of the back and forth between Kanye and Drake. You know, because, like, you know, it, it got to a, a uh, it got to a bigger level from that when, like, you know, Kanye was in his mind thinking that Drake smashed Kim Kardashian because he was doing the whole... Uh, you know, he did that. Mm -mm. Do you love me? You know, Kiki, because that's her nickname. Kiki, do you love me? He thought that. And then also he was doing songs with Travis Scott where he was talking about, you know, cut the lights off, turn it left, turn it left, doing directions to Kanye's crib. You know, it was just crazy. And it was getting just petty, you know. So it's good that they're cool again, but I would never trust... They, they shouldn't trust each other ever again. I mean, too much has been done, you know? It's like, I don't even think they should work together anymore. They should just, like, be cool and have a respect for each other. It was cool that they did um, a whole, you know, concert together for Larry Hoover, but it's enough, man. Anyways, I would never trust... They should never trust each other again. It's too toxic. This is crazy. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.